everyone, it's me Tess, long time no see. It is December, so I didn't put a video up in November as I kind of expected. Um, November was even more crazy than I even, like, I knew it would be bad, but whoa, it amped up the levels. So just... I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, the concert went amazingly, uh, even though it was a lot of work and a lot of time. Uh, I made some of the props, which I'm very proud of. They looked great on stage. Uh, the kids did The Wiz from Oz. So it was The Wizard of Oz in the first half of the concert and Aussie themed stuff in the second half and I made um, the brain, the heart and the courage for the three main characters. The heart was just a little plushy thing um, from felt. Uh, the courage was a bottle I found and put green paint on the inside because Miss M wanted green and the brain I'm most proud of. I photoshopped a picture of All Brain. I'm not sure if that's a serial you guys have wherever you are, uh, but I made it say All Brain and I think it turned out pretty amazingly. Um, and yeah, it was pretty cool to see something I'd made up on the stage looking so good. We did buy a photo this year. It's not something we normally do because photos are expensive when you get a professional ph photographer to take them. Um, but this one we just couldn't leave behind, uh, even though obviously we had a lot of expenses heading into the concert. We had, I don't think we had shoes this year, which was actually pretty good, but we had little bits for costumes, we had tights, we had a lot of takeaway. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we just could not leave this photo behind. Aren't, oh, aren't they just the absolute cutest? Um, sorry for the, that's not, sorry for the glare. I think that's, I should just transfer it to my laptop, no, desktop so I can show you, but I think that's, yeah, pretty close. This was their acro class. They were in the same class together, so they're wearing the same costume. Obviously not identical, but the costume was made to work together. Um, she is on his back in a, piggy bit, in a piggyback type thing, holding on with her legs, and they are both roaring. And oh, be still my heart. They are just far too cute for their own good. So, yeah, absolutely love that photo, and we just couldn't couldn't leave it behind that's not something we could ever recreate so yeah we bought that um other than the concert which again took so much time we had the school fate which I helped out at um, obviously I helped out at the concert because it's what you do um I had my reading at church every week like normal there were Sunday rehearsals, so we're at the studio all day, like literally all day. And I sort of got um, my hour volunteering ended up being about five hours both days. Um, and as well as that, like I told you in my last video, I decided to attempt NaNoWriMo. I won. I am shocked. It was looking pretty grim. I was pretty far behind. I didn't think I was actually going to be able to. Um, some days I couldn't write anything. Some days I only got like a hundred words when, like I said, you need 1,667. Um, but yeah, we had a workshop or oh, the kids had a workshop last Sunday as a reward and a thank you for all they've done through the year. Uh, was five hours long. I ended up being the only parent that stayed in the studio 
So other than helping the principal put together a fruit platter and things for lunch and packing that away, I had the entire place to myself, no interruptions, no pretending to talk, and I wrote 10,000 words, which put me back in the race, and I managed to finish it three days early. So I had three full days spare, so it's about 72 hours, and I didn't need it. So I won my ninth nano, and I am so overwhelmed because I really didn't think that I was going to make it this year, but there you go. I did actually get a little bit of stitching done in the last month, so I have a little bit to show you, not a huge amount, but considering I wrote 50,000 words, had a dance concert and a school fate, anything is better than nothing. Um, I will show you first the stitch along. I think there's only two patterns left if I remember correctly and have it all right. There's the one next week and then the week after will be where you choose your ending. But again, I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. This is where we are at the moment. I am absolutely loving it and I'm actually pretty happy with my colours now. Um, a few chart, uh, pieces ago I really wasn't sure, but absolutely loving it. Uh, the guess I've seen most around the group is home is where the, and then we fill it in, or we'll have the option to change it. I'm kind of in agreement, but I also know that there's a high chance they will surprise us. But yeah, loving the colours, and I'm I'm glad I'm still caught up. Uh, yeah. So that is stitch along. What else? Um, I haven't actually stitched anything more on this, but as I've been organising, because the last three days of November, I've tried to create my planner for next year, get myself organised, figure out how I'm going to attack next year, because I just, I need a better year. Um... I've been looking at my cross stitches and what I need to do to get them complete. I put that in air quotes because I'm not worrying about finishing it and having um, finished whips or FFOs. What I'm talking about is having the pieces gridded, named, the chart completely, like just everything I would need to have a fully ready, prepared whip, which is more than anyone needs to do but again it makes me happy and that long roundabout way PhD um, projects half done from Stitch Rovia I loved what I'd done with the fabric and how it had accidentally created rings because I dried it on a muffin tray but I, I just kept looking at it and it was hard to see the stitching because the color was too dark. I wasn't sure whether to pull the stitching and change colours. Um, what I did decide to do is throw it in the wash and hope that it lightened it up and it did. And this is it. It's a little bit darker than it's showing on screen but as you can see you can now tell what it says especially projects half done that was really getting lost. So I'm super happy that I threw it in the wash. Um, I've been washing a lot of my fabrics. Um, I did receive the 28 count for the Hades and there was marking on it. It wasn't where stitching would cover it and I didn't want to waste that much fabric because it was actually marked quite badly. So I threw that in the wash and um, it softened it up. So I'm like, oh, let's throw it all in the wash. So yes. PhD as now happy. Um, I have a new start, Jen Crafts. If you've probably seen her, she's amazing. I know I've talked about her before. She had a birthday sale, um, Lizzie Cake Santa Stampler, I think. I don't know where my chart is. My life 
and room and everything is just a massive mess. Like I would be embarrassed to show you what you can't see. Um, anyway, I started it. I'm using the same fabric that I used for the other Lizzie Kate, but first coffee. Um, just because I didn't really have a lot of options. I didn't want to go out and buy fabric because I'd already bought the pattern when I probably shouldn't have. Um, and I didn't want it on 18 count. So I did it on the same fabric. It's fine. I didn't want it to be huge because I'm not big on holiday stitching. Um, we decorate by putting a tree up. And I have a little mini tree and an advent calendar that I can reuse every year, but that's about as far as I go with decorations. I would love to do more, but we're renting. This is in our house, um, and you can't do anything to a rental. We don't have a lot of hooks. Um, so, yeah, we – again, long story short, I wasn't huge on the Christmas theme, but I wanted to join the sale, and it was pretty cute. So I just decided to do one over one instead of um, two over two on this, just so it was a little bit smaller. And oh my god, this is so cute. No, this way. Look at how freaking darling it is. Like, it's smaller than a fingernail. And it's not focusing. But oh my god, it is adorable. It looks a bit freaky because um, I did have to change the colour so it stood out a little bit um the black is super super black so I'm actually thinking I'm going to change the eyes so it's not quite so in your face but yeah so I started that obviously didn't get a lot done because it was November 3rd and I was still focusing on nano but oh my god it's so cute it's just so tiny um something else I started in November because Another sale on Let's Join All The Sales was Kerry and Stitch's Blackwork Birthday Sale. Um, I decided because, you know, let's not do things by halves, not, let's not do a small thing, to do Save the Stitches. Um, yeah, I don't know how big it's going to be. I haven't actually measured the fabric to the part chart, but loving it it took so much in me to stop um I got the first part of the chart done obviously only the borders um but I think I'm actually going to do the entire lot of borders before I do any of the um internal stitching just because that's me um so you can see I have numbered the bits as they are numbered in the chart just so I can sort of keep track of where I'm up to and not have to count constantly. But the colour isn't showing because it's my video. Why wouldn't I record at 10 o'clock at night with my lamp? Um, yeah, absolutely loved that. And again, it took everything in me not to continue. But I had to stop and go watch a concert. That was done for the Solid Gold concert, which was the performance troupe. So we actually had three concerts in November. We had the Solid Gold followed by a rehearsal the next day. And then the following week we had two on the Saturday. It was the one. So yeah, I had to go watch the concert. So I stopped stitching, unfortunately. Anywho, um, this isn't actually stitching. Like I haven't started stitching it yet. I have marked out the top and left side border and I have named it this, which I can't get all in, is the fabric for Fairy Bubbles. Super size max colour, obviously, because I've got like seven of them. Um, I just love this. It's so, I love tiny things. It's so adorable. Um, as I said, I did order. 28 count. Um, I washed it because it was marked pretty horrifically. As you can see, the mark's completely gone, but it shrunk the fabric. I don't mind 
because obviously I haven't done any stitching so it's not going to affect things um, but as I was gritting it didn't measure out like I expected so I wanted to make sure I hadn't miscounted because um, I had some idea in my mind of how big it would be and then when it just didn't work I measured it and it's now 30 count so I was going to do two over one on 28 count I can't um, fairy bubbles the actual name was two over one because I just looped it but it was only the Goodman thread and I think this is finer than a strand of the DMC and it was tough pushing through the holes with a sharp needle so I'm gonna have to do one over one and hope the coverage is fine otherwise I might cry but I think it should be fine because one over one was almost okay on the 28 count I was just being pedantic so it it should be safe it should be safe um, I would love to start that but I'm going back to extreme cross country and you can't do extreme cross country without the grid fully done um, I did name it but I may be changing it in the fact that that is the front you can kind of see the grid lines there but the fishing line I bought for this is a lot finer than the normal fishing line I use because obviously the holes are smaller so I may have to turn it inside out and use the long legs of the thing instead of the simple cross but I'll see how visible each cr how visible each cross is when I've finished gritting it and make the decision then the only other thing I've done and it's not super exciting it's tiny I started summer um, I should have been more prepared for today but whatever um, haven't named it so that's obviously part of my organization um, not gridded because I've found that some charts I don't need to grid which is a nice surprise and I'm stretching my boundaries anyway um, Celtic Lady, Celtic Lady, Lavender and Lace Celtic Lady Summer, um, doing a conversion because Noelle is apparently the only one I like. Um, only two strands of floss because it is getting late and I wanted to finish this so I could get to bed. The video, not this obviously. Um, yes, I'm in Australia, so summer started today. So I started lavender and lace summer so yes I've got 24 days before I start another one and we will be fully started by March I think when we hit March 5th I'm pretty sure I have all of them no I haven't done autumn yes because March is the start of autumn so March 5th I will have officially started all six of my ladies five five no no six six yes um because I'm doing the five ladies that are chartered and I'm also creating an Easter um yeah that's kind of exciting and I think that does it for me um I've probably forgotten something because it has been a month and it's late and yes I think I'm done thank you for sticking with me if you have I'm so excited to be back it was really weird not making videos but again you saw what I showed there was no way that would have been worth a weekly video um, but I will be trying to stitch a lot more I know that no December is a massive organizational time for me I 
like the new year. Um, I know every new day is a new start, but there's something really special about January 1 for me. So I want to try and start the new year right, especially because this year has been so horrible. Um, but anyway, I will let you go rather than rambling. Thank you so much for putting up with me and I'm excited to see you again next week. Bye guys.